Welcome to today's video. We're diving into the world of servos, focusing on one of the most popular models, the Micro Servo 9G SG90. This small component is key in many projects, from robotics to remote-controlled models. In this video, you'll learn how it works, how to connect it to Arduino, and how to create a simple project. Let's get started. A servo, often called a servo motor, is a precise motor that can rotate to a specific angle. Unlike regular motors, servos can stop at a specific position, making them perfect for tasks that need accurate control, like moving robot arms, controlling RC models, or even automating home systems. A servo works using PWM, pulse width modulation signals. By changing the length of the pulse sent to the servo, we can control its angle of rotation. For the Micro Servo 9G SG90, the angle can range from 0 to 180 degrees, giving us full control over the servo's position. This means that by programming the microcontroller correctly, you can control the servo's position with high precision, which is crucial for many applications where accuracy is important. Connecting a servo to an Arduino is straightforward. The servo has three wires, power, VCC, ground, GND, and signal, PWM. For our setup, connect the power wire to the 5V on the Arduino, the ground to GND, and the signal wire to one of the digital PWM pins, like pin 9. Remember, the servo needs stable power to work correctly. You can find detailed connection schematics and ready-to-use code on our website. The link to these resources is in the description below. This way, you can easily copy our project and test it yourself. Now that the servo is connected, let's move on to programming it. In the Arduino IDE, you'll find a library called Servo, which makes controlling servos easy. With this library, you can control the servo's angle with just a few lines of code. In our example, we'll write a program that moves the servo to a set angle and then returns to the starting position. This is a great way to understand the basics of controlling servos. Let's break down how our program works. We start by including the servo library and creating a servo object with servo my servo. Next, we use my servo dot attach the nine to connect the servo to pin nine. In the loop function, we use my servo dot right angle to set the servo's angle. This allows us to control the servo's position with precision. Let's see how our first program works in action. As we upload the code to the Arduino and power the servo, watch the servo's movement. When you place the servo at different angles in the code, observe how it rotates between these positions. You'll notice the servo smoothly transitions between angles, as we said in the program. Now let's see how we can use our servo in practice. We'll create a simple angle controller that adjusts the servo based on a potentiometer value. The potentiometer allows us to easily control the angle of the servo, opening up many creative possibilities. All connection schematics and source codes are available on our website. The link to these resources is in the description below. You can also download the files to quickly start your own servo projects. When working with servos, keep a few important things in mind. Servos can draw significant current, which might overload Arduino pins. Therefore, using an external power supply is recommended. Also, regularly test the servo and monitor its performance to avoid potential overload issues. If you notice that the servo behaves erratically or doesn't respond correctly, check the power supply and connections. Using a capacitor to smooth out the voltage can also help with servo performance. There are various types of servos, including standard, continuous rotation, and high-torque servos. Each type has different uses. For example, Continuous rotation servos are used in wheels and drives, while high torque servos are ideal for heavy duty tasks. 
In this video, we explored the Micro Servo 9G SG90, learning how it works, how to connect it to Arduino, and how to program it for simple and advanced projects. We also covered important tips for effective servo usage and different types of servos. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future content. Visit our website for more information, schematics, and codes. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.